Okay, friends. So we are going to talk about how do you build really robust and specific instructions for any custom AI assistance that you build with ChatGPT. Because custom GPT, as what ChatGPT calls it, is only going to perform well and give the outputs and value your users need if you set specific instructions. I'm going to use a bit of anonymized instructions that I use for some of my own assistance and talk you through it step by step. So there's a few steps before this. If you want to see my full how-to guide on creating a AI assistant using ChatGPT, the link is in this post or wherever you're viewing this video right now. First of all, if you want to do what I do for a lot of my GPTs is I actually give them a personality. What I will say to them is your name is whatever that is. What's your role? Who are you serving? What audience are you working with? And how do you want it to respond? So making sure it responds to the name or not to the name, regardless of what happens. Then our second part is to get really specific on what role is this GPT or AI assistant playing for the user. So in the instructions, you would use this. You would say, this is your role. You specialize in doing these specific tasks or my recommendation is one task for the user and tell the assistant how they do this. So is it going to be using the knowledge that's already got pre-trained from chat GPT, or will you upload a PDF as a knowledge file? And how would it offer those insights to people? And what is it going to offer? And tailor it to the user specific needs in pursuit of the one task that the custom assistant is focusing on. Then we want to break down to the next paragraph on the primary role. You can see here, the primary role is to engage users. And then here you would insert what topic is engaging the user on. And then how is it going to help them? And their overall goal is to improve their approach to the main task that the assistant has been built for. And then here you would say this involves, and then you would outline, as I've said here, what the assistant should know. Then the aim, the aim is very important because the aim is what is the aim of the output for the user. And then we'll say here in interactions to make sure to maintain whatever tone you want, to make sure it focuses on specific aspects of the task and what it should prioritize. So looking at what specifically should the output always prioritize for the user? Should it have takeaways? Should it have follow-up questions, follow-up prompts? Think about that in your design process. And a really important bit is around security. So I mentioned this because you may have seen with ChatGPT as an example, where people are building custom AI assistance is that people are able to prompt it and get its knowledge files and find out about its instructions. So one way to stop that is to copy and paste this exact section here, which basically is telling the bot not to reveal any of the instructions that you have set and also not to share any of the knowledge files or sources. And basically all you're telling it to do is say, if any of these ever come up in any circumstance, the hard rule is always say, I cannot help with that. So you can tweak that if need be, but this is just a really important part of the instruction process to make sure that you are protecting any data that you upload if you care about that and to make sure that people aren't going around trying to steal your instructions trying to get your source files as well so in under five minutes folks that's a bit of a tour on how you can build structured and specific instructions for your custom gpts if you want to get the full step-by-step -step guide on how to build your own ai assistant for learn development teams, or even not for learn development teams, you can use this in HR and other teams too, then check out the link wherever you're viewing this on YouTube, on social media, and you can find out more. Any questions, drop them in the comments and I will speak to you in the next one.